So I posted this picture in a group a few days ago and a lot of people liked it. A lot of people asked for tutorials and how to do it. So here you go. Welcome back to our custom designs. Well, we are our sweet life. This is all the materials you'll need for that custom basketball. I'm going to be giving you that tutorial today. I have already added all eight of my photos in Cricut Design Space. You'll see here on the right where it has the my kids in the right red heart. That one I have already done. I'm just gonna slice these images out in the shape of the basketball. And as you see up top, the size of these, the template is 3.6 width and 13.3 height. That is the template that we're using. That is the measurements of my basketball. Later on in this video, I'll show you how I measure my basketball and how I measure anything that I'm customizing. I use measuring tape, so I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. And this is all you do. You just put the template over the picture and slice it up. I'm not doing this in any certain order. I'm just slicing them up as I go. Being that these photos have only one person in them, it's very, very easy. You'll see as I get to the photos that have multiple people in it, the wider the picture is, the you know, the wider the picture is, the more difficult it'll be. You'll see very shortly uh, how I have to do it in order to get everybody in the template when you have multiple people in an image. All right, this image here, you see how all of them are in one image. It's not that bad with this one because they're like on top of each other, like all in a straight line. So this one wasn't as bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this one up, you know, as carefully as I can and try to get everybody facing it. But I'll talk to you more on the one where they're standing side by side. I made this one a little bigger so that I could see if I got all my kids face. I see that Amaya face was cut out a little more than I liked. So I just click undo a few times to redo that slice. All right, this is the image where they're all standing side by side, separated, you know, not on top of each other like the last image. So you're gonna have to work it out a little bit different. You're gonna have to, you're gonna see me unlock that lock over the height, you know where the size at. I'm gonna have to unlock that lock whenever I get my height that I want and start making the width more thin, like put the width in you'll see me do it in just a moment so that everybody face can get inside of this photo it turned out really great sometimes it may not turn out really great it just depends on how the you know how distorted the image is i use my canon t7i for this image so it was a pretty good quality image so i'm glad it worked out for me on this one Before I start moving and slicing my images, I go through to make sure they are all the correct size.
Okay, once I get all my images sliced, what I do is put them all to the top and then you'll see me do the align and I just align it straight to the top. I just, I don't know why I do that. I just want to make sure everything's straight, everything's cut straight because what I'm about to do is slice off the bottom half because you know with Cricut, you, I'm not able to print larger than like 9.2 on certain features. So yes, I'm going to split it. Whenever I split my images, I always zoom in to 100%, you know, zoom. Whenever I'm doing all the slicing and stuff, whenever I, um, whenever I was making the templates, I put it in like 25%. It's just easier for me to, you know, see and deal with it when it's smaller. But whenever I do this part here, I like to zoom into 100% so I know what number that I'm slicing it at because I overlap mine do that the... The section is 13.3 length and height. So I got to know how where to overlap it at. So you'll see that very shortly. All right, you see, I was about to slice it before I duplicated it. And you know, you can't do that because if you slice it first and then duplicate it, what you're gonna get is the duplicated slice image. And I didn't want that. So I duplicated it. And then I went on and sliced the bottom part off of this image. If there is a way to slice all these images at one time, please someone put it in the comments below. It doesn't take a long time to slice it, but if I could find a way to do it all at once, it'd be very helpful. All right, in order for me to get a good overlap, I make sure I align each of these images to the top again, because I want to make sure everything's straight. So I'm going to go ahead and align it to the top. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my square. I always add a square. That's what I like to use as my alignment or my uh, slice. I add my square, slice it, and that's going to give me my overlay. And you'll see exactly what I mean by overlay. I know some people asked in the comments what was overlay. You'll see very shortly, I'm going to give you a very close up on it in just a moment. All right, you see, that is the overlap. Once you get that overlap, you're good to go. I put, I don't know how big my overlap is, but you can make it how big you want it. It's your like your safe space whenever you're adhering it to the ball. You guys, I promise you, I was gonna get this tutorial out to you. Y'all look at what time it is. Oh my goodness, look what time it is. Y'all got me up late. Look at my poor baby was up with me. Okay, y'all make sure y'all subscribe and support. But whenever you're doing these projects, you guys, make sure you save your image before you start printing, 
before you start cutting before you do anything when your your whole project is complete ready to start cutting or using the Cricut period save your image because you can mess up and you'll see that I lost some of these parts I don't know how it it was two o'clock in the morning that's how but I lost some of these parts here and I had I'm so thankful that I saved the images so I could just go back and recut it and reprint it without having to have a headache of having to remeasure so you'll see it very shortly Whenever I'm working with a cut and print, you guys, you'll see that I print out all my images first and then I go back and cut all my images. It's just easier for me to do it that way, more faster, and you'll just check it out. All right, a lot of people ask me, was I using a sublimation printer or a regular printer? You guys, this is an Epson Echo Tank ET2803. I use regular ink in here, no sublimation, no sublimation. This is regular ink. You can make this into a sublimation printer by adding sublimation ink, but no. This is my regular printer. I used to have a Canon. But um, in the Canon will work just fine. But we do party supplies or party party favors now, and that Canon was using a bunch of ink, and it just wasn't keeping up with the supply and demand, you know. So I had to upgrade to an Echo Tank, and I'm so glad I did. And you'll see me starting to print out these images. Like I said, I print them all out after you know one by one by one, and then I cut them one by one by one. And I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit on this part.
I always wanted to do this part in a video. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh yeah, the joy of opening your Cricut. Now that all the images have been printed, I am about to go ahead and cut them. Yes, I use iron on setting. Always use iron on setting and keep the mirror off. I know usually whenever you do iron on, you got to mirror the design and shiny side down when using vinyl, but you're not using vinyl. You're using heat transfer printable sheets, whatever it's called. But yes, you do not mirror these images. all right now it's time to go ahead and actually cut and print it whenever you're doing this make sure you line the paper up with the lines horizontal and vertical you got to make sure it's on the line you guys because if it's not you'll see later on in the video what happened when my girls put the paper upside down you gotta just make sure you do it right because these sheets are expensive and you don't want to waste your sheets and if you just see me turn off my lamp sometimes i've heard that the cut and the cut with cut and print doesn't really cut accurate if you have your room too bright so just turn off your lamp or any extra lights that you have on i'm just using my regular living room light with this cut and print and it cut it so accurate so if you got any extra like a um ring light or a lamp go ahead and turn it off In this video, you see that we're using two different mats. We have like a green mat. These mats are not sticky. These mats we had for a little while, so they're not sticky. And it's best to use non-sticky mats so that your paper won't, you know, uh, fold up, bend up whenever you're taking it off. So these mats were perfect for this project. You guys see my heat press over there in the corner? You can just see the bottom of it, but I have a heat press video review if you need a heat press. So check that review out on our channel. And we had it for since like Christmas and we really enjoy our heat press. So it's, it makes everything much easier. We used to use an iron and we upgraded and so glad we did.
All right, I'm gonna show you how to measure the ball. I should have put this part of the video in the beginning because you wanna measure your ball before you cut, before you print, before you do anything. This is the very first step. So, but I'm leaving it right here in this video because I already did all my edits and now I'm just adding my voiceover. But I will add this video clipping on my YouTube channel, just this little clip of how to measure because any craft you do, you have to measure it. You should do your measurement, especially if it's a custom item. All right, for, for this particular ball, the width is 3.5 inches. Like I said, every ball is different. Yeah, I'm just so happy I got these at uh, five below. The balls were the same sizes, but I don't know if every single ball in the world is going to be this size. So just measure your balls, you guys, when you get them. So to make sure that you're not wasting paper. In the height for my ball, I put 13.3 inches. It looked like it could have been 13.4, but remember you're stretching the image down a little bit whenever you're doing it. So I put 13.3 and it worked out just fine for me. Now on to the fun part, adding the paper to the ball. Okay, not sure what happened, but on this one picture here, it has a little white streak on the side of it, which I don't really like. So you'll see me cutting the, that little strip off. And yep, right there, that little strip, I don't really like that, so I'm cutting that off. Okay, so this is the heat gun I use. I do have a review that I'm putting up on my channel very soon. I actually like this heat gun. It's not expensive. I will link the description. I will link the link of the heat gun to purchase in the description of the video. You guys check it out. It's not expensive at all. So I'm just gonna put a light pressure heat on here. It has two uh, settings. You can heat lightly or heat high. I will be leaving the link for the heat gun as well as the gl heat resistant gloves in the description of this video. Okay, you see me trying to overlap this. You wanna make sure that everything is lined up so it won't look like it's shifted a little bit. So that is how you overlap it. Okay, so after I got done with this first section of the ball, I decided to go on YouTube live and do the recording live. 
I have never used YouTube Live, so you guys bear with me. You'll hear me talking to people that was able to join that live video and answering some of their questions. I was going to take the uh, words out of it, but some of the questions they were asking was very helpful. So I'm just going to leave the words in it. Okay, let me get my glove. But I was showing you my urn, but y'all, it's it's taking a little too long. Just know any any urn will work. Any urn. All right, what I do is just put it on there and let it adhere to the ball. And you see the little bump start coming out? It'll start coming out. I don't. I just keep it on low because I'm new. I don't want to overwhelm myself. If I start getting off screen, y'all let me know. Okay. And what I do, I just pull it down a little bit as I go. So I don't get many wrinkles. I always get a little, some wrinkles, but I don't want that many wrinkles in it. I'm sorry that noise. I know it's gonna get irritating. I got to get used to recording live. I mean, I ain't got to get used to it, but I just wanted to do it live. You know, I finally got a quiet house. I got a lot of children, as you'll see on this ball. <laughs> These are all my kids. If you haven't subscribed, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe. Y'all will see, see them every week. We started just doing crafts, but now they wanted to do vlogs, so they do vlogs. And as this paper get heat hot, y'all, it's, it's stretchable, but you can put holes in it too, so don't stretch it too much. You see, it's, that, it's getting really thin that's what it's called getting thin so you don't want to stretch it too hard like i said it's gonna get wrinkles it's all right it's all right and a lot of people ask oh lord how do i do that bottom layer i'm about to show you right now i overlap it let me turn this off and this thing does get hot thank goodness for the glove because i mean you can feel the heat but you know it's not direct heat and so, as you see, I already did my sun. It's overlapped right here. You can, yeah, you can see it, but, you know, it's no biggie. No biggie. So, her overlap going to be down here. Uh, oh, Lord, I got it balled up in the couch. Like I said, oh, yeah, somebody wants to see the paper. Miss, oh, where the paper go? I got stuff everywhere. This is the paper we're using. You'll see the full tutorial later tonight. I got this from Amazon. I wrote my own private note. Do not mirror because this paper is expensive. And I don't want to wait. I wasted a lot of sheets doing my last ball. But it's so it's all good. It's all good. I'm still learning this thing. I'm going to make a, I'm gonna make a little bit of money on it, you know. Got to perfect it. 50 sheets is $50 Amazon. I'm going to link you guys. My It's not my Amazon store, but it's my Amazon affiliate link. I get a little bit of change when y'all purchase from it, so I appreciate it. And yeah, and I always start on low heat. All right, and I, the heat gun came from Amazon. I'll link that in the bio too, in the description. So I get a little little bit change off of that too when y'all order it. Like I said, it was a gift, but you know. And it come with attachments. I'm gonna do a review on it. Actually, I got a, a video started. I'm gonna do a review on it. If y'all don't got no heat gun. And look, it's just so easy. Did you use a sublimation printer? Nope, I got a regular old printer from Walmart. Uh, you'll see a, see that in the full tutorial. tutorial. It's an Epson Echo Tank 2803. I just got it, uh, what, maybe two months ago because I do chip bags. I used to have a Canon. I live by Canon, love my Canon, all my Canon products. But 
when it comes to making chip bags and Capri Suns and water bottle labels and all that for party favors, that Canon, that ink was costing me more than what I was charging. So it was either my price was going to go up or I had to get another printer. So I didn't want my prices to go up. So I just went on and got another printer. I was buying ink like crazy. All right, did y'all see how that color came in? I don't know if it's good on y'all end, but y'all keep watching. Sorry it's so loud. All right, there we go. We done with that. Let's go on to the next one. right on off. Just put it to the top. And the ball is hot, so it, it act like it want to go ahead and stick to it. But it's all good. Thank you, Mariah. All right, here go all my youngins, right? There, there they go. That's Destiny, Jamel Jr. That's Mariah. That's Stefan. And that's Amaya. That's the crew. We, yep, I cut them with the Cricut. Or you, if you don't have a Cricut, really, you could use your scissors, to be honest with you. I think la last night when I did my ball, I did another one. Uh... It wouldn't, something happened. I had to end up cutting it. I Oh, yeah, I measured the ball the wrong way. Where can I get? I was telling people that the uh, measurements was 12.2 when it's really 13.2. So, you guys, I'm glad I made a tutorial because I, I messed that up. So, it was at, it was real short, so I had to go back and redo them. And I didn't feel like getting the cricket out and all that, so I just cut it out with my hands. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am? Where can I get the template? The template? Uh, you can get it on my in my Facebook group. You got to join my group because I don't know how I don't have a website. I don't know how else to get it to you. Or you can get it off Etsy. You can get Etsy for a couple of bucks. I don't remember where I got mine from, but you can get it for Etsy. It's in there for like what some people sell it for five bucks or so. Just look for a custom basketball template, or you might can look on Google, Google Images. I don't remember where I got mine from. I've been holding on to this project for forever and just decided to do it finally. Like we always do. Y'all know how we do. We see something we want to do and buy all the stuff we need for it and never do it. Y'all know how it go. But. Oh, Lord, my crew back, y'all. Is that you? No, it ain't. That's the neighbor. What's Facebook? Oh, the Facebook group. It's our custom designs. Our custom designs, right? Ain't that the group? We're not active in there, but that's the, that's the only place I know where to put the template. And I'll put it in there after the live. Yeah, we be in everybody else's group. We're going to have to get our own group live. You see, I got a wrinkle. It's all right. Oh, well, I guess I can show you. When you guys, when it's mess up, you can peel it up. Yeah, my cricket's still in the box, and it's been two years. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> if you don't get that cricket out the box, honey, you got to get it out the box. You don't have to make money with it. My my goal was just to have fun with my cricket when I first got it. But then my daughter took over if you guys don't know our story you got to go look at our old videos my daughter took over honey and she was only what nine eight at the time seven she, yeah it was two years ago yeah this one right here i had my cricket for like a month and she took over now this one is the one that helped me the most maya y'all got to go look at them old videos 
Oh, that one's gonna wrinkle up. I don't want it to wrinkle. Hold on. It's photo. What is it called? Photo paper direct. Photo paper direct. PPD from Amazon. And when I put this tutorial up, I'll link. I'll link it so I can get a you know a couple of change on it. Don't get it from Walmart because you Walmart is you get ten sheets for like twenty dollars. Walmart is. I, I usually Walmart used to be my go-to, but now Amazon is just just it for me. Every time I get to this part of the ball, like the wide and oval part, these wrinkles want to come. Like I said, the bottom is going to be overlapped. So if I got a wrinkle or two, it is okay with me. It is okay with me. Because it's an over... Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear me. But yeah, it's going to be overlapped. So if it's a wrinkle, it's all right with me. Um, see, That's how I do it. Because my printer only print out what, what the Cricut allow, like, not sit nine down nine inches down no i this is no is she said am i selling this one oh no i don't seal no i don't seal i don't i don't know how people seal it no i don't seal it but yeah y'all see how I overlap it it's just almost perfect you got that little line but this is the bottom of the ball, so it's gonna sit on this place like this. So you, you're not really gonna be able to see it, but you know, it's there. Unless you got a longer. Now, if you got the long, longer paper, and you can hand cut it, cause you know it's, it ain't nothing f fancy in the cutting. It's just a line, so you could use that longer paper, and if you don't want any, you know, have to overlap. <sighs> this house phone. Okay. Go ahead and get it. Don't answer if you don't know who it is. That's the easiest part, the bottom. And like I said, whenever I get to the bottom, I just switch it to high power. Whenever I do it all, but I'm going to go ahead and do it since I'm on this live. And get to Let me see. Y'all see how it's... A little ashy right here well it's maybe because it's white but uh, you see how my son looks a little ashy right here let me show you how to get the color in Y'all see, I'm going to go ahead and do, watch out, Ron, I can't see TV. All right, y'all see how it's real ashy right there. I'm going to show you how it looks whenever you put the full heat. I'm going to go ahead and, it's not called seal it, but I'm going to go ahead and add, add here, or yeah, add here, this part here, because this is a perfect part so you can see how it do. Watch, I'm messing. <laughs> y'all can see it. Okay, here we go. Perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So now that that was perfect. That came right on time. So whenever you do that, I go ahead and lay it on the whole ball. Then I hit it with the high heat so all of it can change. That was a perfect timing. All right, like I said, I don't mind the wrinkles at the bottom too much because it's going to be overlapped somewhat. But if I mess up in any space, oh, Lord, I can pick it up. I don't know, like right there. You see, you can pick it up, readjust. All right, a little bit, yeah. But anyway, yeah, you can readjust some spots. 
All right. And I didn't give her a bottom yet. I don't know. I was slipping. Must have been too excited to make this tutorial for y'all. So we're going to keep it trucking. Make sure this is down. All. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we is missing some. Tell her who sh who bottoms we need, cause I don't Disney, have. me, me and two. Okay. My little helper over there, going to get the bottoms out for me. Can you get off the table cause you're shaking it? Thank you, baby. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can get this one like the that last one. I think I'm getting professional, y'all. I don't wanna you out. Do myself. No, I don't have the bottom to the heart. Huh? Where did you get the black basketball only see brown? I get all the well, like I keep saying it all like I've been doing this for months. <laughs> but I get my balls from um how how I'm about to say highway fifty five. Oh Lord, I get it from half what is it? Five below. Five below. Five below. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I get it from five below. I was up at two like two forty five filming this, y'all, because I went on and cut it all out this morning. And like I said, y'all going to see it in the, t t the full tutorial. But yeah, I was printing these out last night. Well, this morning. So I could do this today. Because I got to get this tutorial out. Because I done put this in the groups. And over like 4,000 people liked it. And I done said, y'all can find me on YouTube. It's going to be up. And it, that was like Friday, Saturday. Today, Tuesday. So I promise it to be out. I promise it's going to be out. No. It's going to be out. Cause I don't want you guys to be waiting on me. Y'all got to make y'all money. If y'all selling them. If y'all plan on selling them. Which I plan on it one day. But I got to practice. Right now I'm just giving them out for gifts. It's okay. Just appreciate you. Oh, thank, thank you. I don't mind. I don't mind helping. But one of these groups, I I put, I didn't even link my YouTube. Because everybody's like, how you do it? How you do it? I said, follow me on YouTube. I'll show you. I don't mind. And they block, they, they didn't block me, but they took my post down. And so, because I put our sweet life on it. So when I went back and I reposted it, and I was, then, you know, everybody want to know how they do it. Because they, they want to, you know, make it for gifts or whatever. And so I was like, look, I can't post my, my channel because they might block me. Then they took the post down again. And so I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. And since I don't have his legs yet, I don't think I'm going to put... Well, you know what? I want you guys to see. You see how it, his is... Oh, shoot. Sorry. You see how his is dark, dark. Let's see. Let's make his shirt go away from being ashy. I call it ash, but you guys, I don't know the proper name for it. But yeah, let's. I want you guys to see it again. Y'all see his shirt? Did y'all see that? I hope I, I'm letting y'all see the stuff good. But yeah, you see how it's light here? It get dark. I like the dark. When I first seen the, when I did my cousin ball and he had on that purple shirt and the purple got dark, I said, oh, I done messed it up. But then I did all of it. I said, okay, I kind of like the color, the color pop. Like, I'm going to call it color pop. Okay, I don't have no legs for him yet. So <laughs> I don't know how I messed that up. But yeah, let's keep on trucking. We're going to keep on trucking, you guys. Hopefully, Mariah have it done before, before you know, I'm done with all the rest of them. Yeah, hopefully. If she don't hurry up, we're going to be in trouble. Mariah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm moving the object. 
Well, Harry, do you know how to move it? Okay, Harry, because I only got two two more. All right, Harry, up. Mariah's the one that's, I'm going to say, stole my cricket. When I got it for my anniversary, you guys, she took it. I only had it for a month. A month. It's okay. Just go ahead and print it, Mariah. Okay, just go ahead. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. And, and I always press it down a little hard, to, you know, to adhere to the ball. Because so whenever I put on the, the heat, I don't want it to blow up. And I just, I don't want those problems. So I always push it down a little bit hard and then start. To make things, I'm afraid. I even have <laughs> to make things. You back? Oh yeah, Kobe Bryant. Oh wait a minute. So you 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 have all the stuff that you haven't started yet. I used to do that. I I catch myself doing it every now and then, but man, I used to do that. Mariah, come See all these cool crafts. Mariah, come teach me. <laughs> <Come>. <laughs> See all these cool crafts and go buy buy the stuff and don't never make it. Oh my god. And the reason I'm the reason I'm not putting the girls on this video is because YouTube, if your kids are like 13 and under, they won't let you have comments. So I want to make sure on this video for sure that I'm able to have comments because I'm anticipating a lot of people is going to be wanting to view this video according to what was on Facebook. Everybody want to know how to do the tutorial. So I'm, I'm anticipating it's going to be a lot of people viewing it and I want them to be able to ask questions, you know, so I can comment back. So the girls won't be on here this time, but like I said, they all over this channel on their vlogs. They done went to the dentist, we eat at Highway 25, we go to the park, we eat slushies, you know, we're just having fun. They on spring, they on uh, summer break. We done been on a cruise, y'all. Y'all got to shake these videos out. It's fun. Somebody said, yep, that's me. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, yep, that's me. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all check the videos out. And she printing out the legs now. Well, cutting. What? Yeah, printing out the legs. Okay. Yeah. No, don't answer the phone. Just do what you're doing. I'm trying to get this done. My my, my friend's been waiting on this ball all weekend. Come on, let's get this ball done. See, you guys, how it folded up right there? Cause it's the ball is a little warm in certain spots. I got to pop this off. Mario, chill out. Okay, so just gotta unfold it. As long as it ain't too hot, it usually unfolds. I got a mug press for my birthday, so I'll... Perfect. I got a mug press. It came in my heat press kit. I haven't used it yet. I got a hat press that came with it, too. I haven't used that either. I want. I think I want to get a sublimation printer soon. Or I'm, I might get... I want to get a, a large format printer for my sublimation. But we'll, we'll see how it go. We'll see how the ball rolls. We'll see. I'm not in a hurry. But I do want it. What I do want is a website. I do want a website. That's my goal for the summer. I don't have many crafts to put on it, but I just don't want to have to tell people to go to Facebook. Everybody don't have Facebook have to take that or box. IG. Huh? Have to take that box. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got to take it on out the box. Get your practice on. But you see that? The wrinkle, I got it to come off. Get two, come on. 
push it down so it can stick so it don't fold back over. The different one. Because I don't want to chance it. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, it folded back up. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. There you go. Oh yeah, and I bought a, a football. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try a football. I bought the football from uh Five Below It also. So we're gonna try the football. And I got a mini ball too. <laughs> Which, on the mini ball, I won't have to do an overlap. So, I'm really excited to do the mini ball. We'll see how it go. We'll see how it go. those wrinkles is okay with me because it's gonna be overlap if you want if you're a perfectionist which sometimes it depends but with this I'm okay with this because it's overlap or it should be overlap my right oh wait I already got this one. Oh, she are did you cut it yeah. see Mariah didn't cut these yet what I would you need to yeah I mean, I mean well since I got two more I'm gonna go ahead and let her do it on the cricket but if it was me, I would go ahead and just cut it out with my scissors, but she, she, she gonna hook it up for me real quick with the Cricut. So let me move on along so this video don't be too crazy. Too crazy long. Oh, I hear the ice cream truck. No, not today. Y'all working. We working. I know you got money. Go get your ice cream. Yes. Y'all better hurry back. Yes, when y'all better open the door? Lord, the ice cream truck out there. The neighborhood we stay in don't have many kids, so I don't know why they coming through here. They don't hardly come through here anyway, so when we do hear one, they want their ice cream. And I like to support small businesses anyway, so it's all good. It is all good. See, I gotta push it down a little bit. And my heat. I like to let that stick down and then roll it. Hold it. Now with the, I'm gonna tell you with these basketballs, it's not a good idea to have like multi. Oh, I got my lost signal. Okay, it's not a good idea to have multiple people in there, cause then you have to shrink. Oh, where my hand at? You got to shrink in the picture, just to get everybody in the three and a half inches wide. You know, you see it's sh shrunk in, which you could tell, especially whenever I put the hot, the heat, the high heat on it, it'll show their face better, but. Yeah, it's better to just have one person like this. You know, that stands out way better than having five folk. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. But yeah. Like I said, I, only, I have five kids and it's eight slots. So I won't about to put one more than the other. I don't know if y'all got kids, but y'all know how that go. Why he got one more picture than me? No, no, no. They all got one picture on here, and then they own it together. This picture is when we was in the Bahamas, as y'all see, Half Moon Key on our cruise. So much fun. Okay. 
don't know. Is that a creep? No, I don't know. Did y'all get the ice cream yeah, truck? No, baby, I'm okay. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> All right, so that is that. Maya, is this my last one? Oh, I gotta cut it. You sure do. Oh, I got this one. I can do that one next. Yeah, you better hear what I'm cutting. Get a Matt Logan. No, Matt, just get a Matt Logan. Get a Matt Logan. Because it's easy. So let me go and do this one. Maya, check to see if any comments came on while y'all was going, because I can't see them. So it's two feet, right? Um, I haven't seen an ice cream truck in years. <laughs> and she said, gotcha. Gotta say, we gotta, you know, you got to support the small businesses. They back up for me too. Oh, they, they seen y'all running out there. Yeah, she said, she said, what do y'all want? And like, she can't, she can't go to school. You know, she's still in school. She Oh, she was a young girl. See, a young entrepreneur. She, she got some she was with her mama. She, so she was y'all age or a little young, she, older? She was like Destiny age. Oh, cool. No, my, I need this one. Uh oh. I don't think you do two of them. All right, I think I got one. Yes, you good. But you got to do one mat, that's it. So I need to take two. Oh, y'all can't see. It's stuck. There we go. It came off. You know, some people, they don't peel it. Let me show Some people, they don't peel it all the way off. They'll, they'll, I, sh I done took them all off. But they usually, they, some, I seen one lady walk it. Like, she'll fold it down and the, the picture be on this part. But she'll have this part laying on the ball. She'll fold it down and then peel some off. Fold it down, peel it off. I seen her do that like that. So, I, I think that's that might be a good way for some folk. I never tried it that way. I might need to so it stops sticking, I guess. But yeah, which you don't need fast mode because it's just it's fast. It's not a whole project. It's just a little. That's how I do my transfers when I do my furniture. Furniture. So you do do a little something, something. What kind of furniture? Like chairs and tables. I see people decorate. Well, y'all can't see my little table this all. But I see people decorate the little tables, portable desk tables with learning stuff on it. I said, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I went on and did that one all the way so you guys can see it, how, how it looked. Whenever you get uh, a lot of people in one picture, so it's not as clear as, you know, the regular photos, but it is okay. It is okay. Like I said, I didn't want to put 
one of the kids on here twice. You know, so, you know, you y'all know how it go. Y'all know how it go. I didn't want those problems. I didn't want those problems. So, let's go ahead and get this last one in. That I found this image on Google. So. I paint any kind of furniture. I feel special. It's like oh, I have a one-on-one well, um, one -on -one lesson. Did you put, how do you put it on the mat like this? Huh? How did you put it on the mat like this? Okay, let's take a pause. I want to show you guys something. Let me hold the mat. I want to show you guys something real quick. Which I showed this in the tutorial, but I want to show you guys. Y'all see, my mat, you can't use a real sticky mat because then it's a stick to it. So this is an old mat, old mat, so it's not as sticky. Whenever y'all put... Y'all, uh, whenever y'all do this, I already showed this in the video, but I want to show you guys since they already messed it up. Whenever y'all put this on your mat, make sure you do it the way that it printed. It should, oh, on the mat, we use a long mat. It should have went on the mat like this. You got to make sure you always put it on it, on that tip where it meet. It should have went on the mat like this. But my daughter, she must have put it on the mat upside down, is what I'm thinking, because it cut too wide. I know you guys can't see it, or no. Yeah, it cut too wide. The cut is way down here, and it cut through here, and that is not going to work. I can't use that. Um, I probably could, but that means, I, I don't know. I don't want to see a line on my ball. I might. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out, cause it's trial and error. Error. But if it don't work, y'all better be ready to go ahead and print it again. Did y'all already print Stefan feet? Go ahead and print Stefan feet. And yeah. Okay. Like I said, it's still trial and error. We we haven't mastered this, cause if it was mastered, I sure wouldn't have messed up on my measurements yesterday. <laughs> Because I put my link as 12.2. It's supposed to be 13.2. So, yeah. It's not mastered. We still learning. Learning and wasted paper. And y'all know this paper is expensive. Trial and error is key. Any process. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that should be good right there. Push it down hard so I can get my heat on it. All right. All right. in the middle. It's it's turn taking that ashy away. It's getting red. Oh, Lord, why? Oh, I don't let it fall back. Yeah, they saying that one is cutting right. I don't know if y'all can hear the cricket. Yeah, they, you got to make sure you put it on the mat right, or you're going to be mad. You're wasting your paper, y'all. Paper is expensive. $50 for 50 pack. 
Now, if you charging, you know you don't get that back. But if you doing it as a gift, mm mm, that's that's money lost. That's a lot of wrinkles. I usually don't mind, but that's too many. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay. All right, let's see if I can fix. So I know that was now. That was a lot of wrinkles. I usually don't mind the wrinkles because it's on overlap, but that was a lot there. That she got okay. That's the fine legs. Okay. And also teach y'all on the full tutorial. Whenever you before you go to the next screen to cut these out, save your image. Cause you see we had to go back and uh recut. We had to go back and cut the legs on some. If I didn't save it, I don't. I, like I said, I did this last night. I don't know if it would have um, saved the right measurement or not. So I saved my image before I cut it. So it'll be how I need it to be. I, I wouldn't have to go back on it and do re-measurements and uh, frustrate me even more. Because you want it to be done. But you want it to be done right. So, yeah. that down so it can stick so I can put this light heat on it. And like I said, you can feel the heat through the gloves, but it's not unbearable. So it's, these are really good gloves because that heat gun does get hot. But it's like I said, it's not unbearable with the heat glove. Yes, ma'am. Stuff on feet? No, bottom piece to that hard. I haven't seen it. All right, and I told them they messed, like I said, the cut was messed up. <sighs> We're going to try to work it out, you know? I need the scissors. But you know I'm gonna cut it while it's still on the paper because it might it's definitely gonna be easier like that. Oh you don't got a five below? Oh man. Somebody said trial and error. Yeah, I seen that. Before. And I don't even shop there much, but it got some cool stuff in there. I definitely knew I had to go there to get this basketball. Uh, Cause I remember seeing them when I went to go look for paint canvases one time. Do paint canvases too. Yep, you don't have to have a cricket to do these crafts. Okay, as long as you got some good scissors. Okay, so this is gonna not this is not gonna be an overlay could overlap because it's not overlap. So we're gonna see how it go, y'all. 
We gonna see how it go. I gotta get it off of here first. And this, I'm gonna try it how, sh how that lady I seen do. Just a little bit at a time. You gonna just cut it this way? No, because you're gonna need the bottom of the heart. This is the bottom. Listen. The bottom is gonna be right about right here. So I think you did it. No, it is it over here. Oh. oh, we're almost done. Right. right there. All right, so this is what I was saying. Like, oh, oh, the flower way up there. Okay. Let's go to the table base. All right, y'all see her flower way up there. I don't know why hers is so overlapped so big, but it is okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, shaking. I got to move the table a little bit closer. We do, uh, for our canvases, we use iron on the black iron on vinyl. We have done, uh, what is it? Regular, what is it? Regular three, six, three, five. What is it called? I don't even, the permanent. We have used permanent vinyl before, but we find now that it's easier to do iron on. Cause we had to do 50 of them and we didn't want no mistakes. So we went on and bought some iron oh you see i about to light my fingers up oh no let me get my glove on i was about to turn it on let me hold it with my arm yes Right, um, this is my first time trying it with the pill method thing. We're going to see how it works. If I like it better. Oh, that ain't even. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that thing's smoking. Oh, it, I had this thing whenever, whenever I... If y'all still here through the end, whenever I go through and do a high heat, the seal, I mean, it's not sealing, but you know, to get everything to stay adhere to it, the smoke alarms goes off y'all. So <laughs> I did this late at night and the smoke alarms was going off, waking everybody up. So I just want to give y'all that hint. My This heat gun makes the smoke alarms go off and I'm trying to peel it from the back. Let's see how it go. And let's see how it, this go. This might be better for me, guys. I, I might have to do it like this from now on. Well, no, the bottom always is easy. Okay, I'm going to have to try this, met the paper method from the top. The top is what, you know, it don't give me problems, but it, that's what I would have to practice on. But put it that you already sent to printer. Is it on there? No, it's a cricket. It's in the cricket already. It's not. It's say to continue, please. There it go. Sorry. Is it please check? Please check your machine it's off, is connected. No, it's not. It's blinking. It's say please check that your machine is connected. Power, powered on. Finish from the, from the top. <laughs> know what y'all yeah. uh, wait a minute wasn't it a y'all i left the strip on the thing y'all y'all remember how she cut the strip i didn't 
I, I really don't need it. I might leave it off. I am going to leave it off. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, she's talking about because it's her tour from the end. Yeah, I'm not going to add that on there because I like the way it looked. It worked out for me. No, I'm not happy that you messed it up. All right, now this one I'm going to have to do because this is a big gap. A big gap. Okay. Yeah, let me go ahead and get that one. Look, it cut all the way down here. That book. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Cause if I would have put an extra one of Maya or extra one of Stefan or extra one of Destiny, you would have been having something to say, right? Hey. Yeah, I know. Okay. What you doing? All right, I'm gonna come back to that one and go ahead and do this yeah. one since they already cut it out. For me. Right here. And it is overlapped real good. So you see that wrinkle? Boom, covered up. Can't see it no more. So there we go. There we go. I got one more section to do. One more section. One more section. One more section. One more section. All right. And this is the one that got cut. I can't see the TV. This is the one that got cut, you guys. So I got to. It's like I said, it's not overlap because it's not overlap, but I got to work it out. Work it out as best as you can. Yeah, I might do the little strip last. Uh, put that up there. And work on this part. All right. Like I said, it's overlap. So you just, you see the knee? Just go up a little bit. I don't know where it's overlapped at, but yeah, right there. And that strip I just took off is gonna go there. Yep, there we go. I don't look too, let me. No, it don't look good. Hold on, I got to figure this thing out. There we go, right there. Right there, then add your light heat. Light heat. There we 
go. I think that was the most perfect thing for me to show you how to overlay. Because everybody's like, what you mean? How you overlap? How you overlap? That was might be the per perfect way. How to overlap. Perfect explanation. Y'all see that? Oh, I thought that was a hole. That's her shoe. I about to say, I must have pulled it down too hard, but it is starting to shift, so. But it will make a hole. If you pull it down too hard while that heat is on there, it will make a hole, y'all, so be careful. Don't ask me how I know. Don't, <laughs> don't ask me how I know. But, yeah. All right. It will make a hole. If it gets too hot and you pulling it too too much. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And then add that strip and we done. We are done. I'm gonna let y'all see me seal, not seal it, but you know, heat all of it up. take my glove for Y'all see that? Let's see how it looks. I gotta put my glove on because I, I I can't burn my fingers. That hair dryer burnt my fingers, and this this heat gun is like ten times hotter. And I know my little fingers be burnt off. I just got the heat gloves, so. turned out good now i'm about to put on the high power and do the whole ball real quick if y'all hear my smoke alarm and y'all just act like you don't hear it because this thing is powerful it's, it's it puts off a lot of heat and another thing i want to say if y'all don't have smoke alarms make sure you get smoke alarms to keep you safe because we got these heat uh heat what's that big heat plate thing we got heat presses. We got crickets that people be saying that crickets blew up. We just got too many electronics, you guys. So I unplug mine at night. I try to remember, especially that heat plug. I don't leave that in. But y'all got to make sure y'all... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to keep y'all safe. Put them alarms on. Make sure you got fire alarms, y'all. Because I don't want to see nobody cricket blew up and y'all know what happens. I, I don't want to see that. I've seen it once before. Okay, that's that's my little rundown for y'all. And change the batteries. If you're beeping, change your battery. Okay, here we go. We're going to go all high heat. My alarm might go off, but ignore it. Y'all, my friends still, I still love y'all. Here we go. So we can get this video pu pu published because all these people waiting on this video. Safety for sure thing. You welcome.
All right. If I don't make anything else, I'm going to do bad. Yes, ma'am. Please do a basketball. Join our group, our custom designs on Facebook. Because I want to see the picture, baby. I want to see the picture. All right. And that's it, y'all. I'm about to go outside while it's daylight here on the East Coast still. Take our pictures. You got to take your pictures outside. This thing hot. Ooh. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. Thank you for sticking out with me. 77 minutes. Well, no, it's more than that because, remember, we started this video three times. So, that's it, you guys. Thank y'all. If you have any questions, remember, I'm going to leave that comment section open. As long as I didn't show my kids, you know, you know, privacy, whatever reasons, safety reasons, they'll let me do comments. So, you'll have some comment section. You're welcome. Good night, y'all. Go ahead and end it. Now, I couldn't end it before, so let's see if it helped me. Did it pop up? Uh-oh.